better? Mama gave him not too much medicine because she couldn't read the bottle right. He had to go to the hospital. If I could read better, I could help. Don't they teach you at school? They're teaching, but it's hard for me. Hmm. Do you know your alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Come sit out here and write your name for me. Majuli. Majuli. Oh, that's your name. Majuli. I'm William. Hi. Oh, what's that letter? M. Huh? And how do you say it? M. And what's that letter? M. Uh -huh. And what's that word? Moose. That's close. It's moose. Moose. I have trouble with the vowels. Yeah, you know, those vowels are tricky sometimes. I could have wrote my name neater, but this chair is too big for me. Yeah, you know, you're right. You'll have to get you a chair of your own. So you'll teach me? Uh, I'll try. You must be Lamont. You got soda? Mm, how about a glass of lemonade? I want soda popper. I'll tell Mama. Oh, okay, okay. You got it. Be to yourself for a while, Marjorie. Stefan, have you seen Javier? I saw him yesterday down by the overpass. What goes on down there? I don't know. The guys just hang. Hang. Hey, who's that tall man that's been coming to the park lately, the one with the tattoos? I don't know. He doesn't bother anybody. Could I get some sodas for Eric and Anthony? I'm playing hide and seek, and that's the only way I can get them to come out. <laughs> well, I will make an exception in your case. You were my first customer. Mr. Campbell. Hello, Reverend. I see your trees are doing well. Yeah. I was afraid for a while there that, uh, wouldn't even take root. <laughs> nice selection. I'm glad you approve. The congregation continues to have discussions regarding your presence in the neighborhood, Mr. Campbell. I thought that was settled. We have learned that a number of buildings in the area are owned by WHC Ventures, of which you are president and sole shareholder. That is correct. How many other properties in the area do you own, Mr. Campbell? I'm told that the congregation owns several properties in the area. What is the difference? The difference is we live here. I do not own any other properties in the area. Stop hassling, Mr. Campbell. Can't you see the work he's doing here? Sister. One man's good intentions do not change my world. But this is his world, Reverend. Well, that's very heartfelt. But the issue is larger than that, isn't it? We do not want to set a precedent that would open the door to others who might want to exploit our community, do we? I see your legion of supporters is growing. That's a good sign. Why can't you make an exception in my case? You can see what my intentions are. I am puzzled by your determination. And I am puzzled by your resistance. The result of many disappointments.
the, the egg. Dog. Very good. May I help you? I'm Reverend Rashid Rahim from the First Faith Congregation. William Campbell. What are you doing here, sweetheart? Mr. William is teaching me to read better. That's a good thing. You go home now, okay? Okay. I'll be back tomorrow, Mr. William. Sweet little girl. Yes, she is. And you're teaching her to read better? Yes. Tell me, by teaching a couple of poor kids to read, you think that makes a difference in the big social order? Actually, I don't have a master plan. Then why are you here, my brother? Tell me, uh, is this reading room a problem for you, Reverend? So far, you're down here playing Santa Claus, giving out free sodas, but maybe in a while you get bored. Go back to the lakefront or wherever with your soul cleansed. Actually, I was raised in this neighborhood. Well, that was quite a while ago, wasn't it? And it ain't the same anymore, is it? So, Reverend, what's your interest? Why did you come here? Oh, we serve as advocates for this neighborhood, Mr. Campbell. We embrace our cultural identities and encourage self-sufficiency and local ownership of businesses. You think I came here to exploit this neighborhood? My concern is that you come into our community, form attachments like with that little girl, give hope. Then you decide it's not what you thought it would be, and you leave. Question. What harm would reading these books do? Mark Twain, Melville, the classics. <laughs> the classics. 40% of the people down here are Hispanic. 20% Asian. Tell me, do you have any Paz, any Marquez, any Lao Tzu? Because those are classics to them. Point well taken. Have a good day, Mr. Campbell. Does that mean I have your approval? Do you need my approval? I'm getting that impression. You brush up on your ethnic studies. My brother. William, I have a child with a learning disability. Not my child. I opened a reading room over on Franklin, and his teacher brought him in. But how old is he? Oh, he's eight, I guess, or nine. Has he been tested? I was hoping to leave that all up to you. <laughs> OK. Um, so what would the schedule be like? Any weekday afternoon. School's over at 3. Do you know how Franklin is in the Oakdale district? I wouldn't be interested in going down there. We have security. It's not that bad. Sorry, I'm not interested. Well, it seems to me that given who you are, you would be interested in something like this. And just who am I? You're an educator. The timing's just not good for me right now. Right now, the timing is crucial for him. Look, I know Oakdale. I grew up in Oakdale. And I've worked real hard so that hopefully I won't ever have to go back there again if I don't want to. I need to make something of myself. I don't know if you can understand that or if it makes any sense, but I'm sorry. What makes sense is Edgar needs help reading and you want to be a teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> 